Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all the important news and information on Path of Exile. Starting the week we got a sneak peek to three new supporter uniques and I guess only two because this one, Kongmin's Stratagem, was already teased. Here we go, a new Quicksilver Flask Rotgut which has increased move speed or rather additional increased move speed however it uses a lot of charges, almost all of them so what does it do? It gives you onslaught for one second per frenzy charge on flask use however it consumes all the frenzy charges on use so you will probably need to stack a lot of frenzy charges and then when you pop the quicksilver you speed really fast and you also have onslaught so you are even faster and that's not all because it also has a 15% chance to gain a flask charge when you deal a critical strike so this is probably a great 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 flask for those custom crit builds we just roll through everything, kill everything really quick from moving from pack to pack, recharging the flask so this is definitely a clear speed flask, absolutely and next is Femurs of the Saints Primordial Staff which has plus 2 level of socketed minion gems and then for each type of minion you have out it gives a different bonus so for example if you have skeletons it gives 2% increased attack speed and cast speed for every skeleton it gives increasing, increased minion duration for every zombie increased minion damage for every spectre and minion regenerates 2 life per second per raging spirit I can actually see this as an offhand weapon like when your minions are in danger you switch to these and uh, you start spamming raging spirits your minions regenerate their life and you're back and you're good to go of course if you are a s traditional summoner you will have increased duration on your zombies which probably aren't going to do much however I'm sure someone will figure out a way to utilize at best all or most of these bonuses and next we got a new set of divination cards these are just some of the new cards that are going to come with the talisman update we can see of course many many unique items it seems a lot of cards are just uh, focusing on unique items however there are also some different types for example a tier 15 map for the lost world card a ring with a off buffment enchantment and a six link white coronal mole which is really good for crafting and it's also level 83 so you're good to go for all your crafting needs I also like the art, I think it's getting better over time like the colors on this card is really are really good uh, the art on Lost Words, the offering and the demoness are really really awesome, I especially like the demoness so really good to know that uh, divination cards are on the roll and I really wonder how many of those are there now because it's been a while and cards have been going out steadily for quite a long time now but let's get to a really interesting news uh, Blade Vortex the skill development of one of the new skills that are coming this one is coming with the Talisman update which is the next update right after uh, Dark Shrine ends so really really soon and Blade Vortex is a physical spell, it's part of the Shadow's physical spellcaster build, of course, and it's going to be a reward for the Shadow for sure, maybe for our classes, not sure. It's going to be uh, for the late Act 1, so after Brutus, maybe at Mervil. And like most skills introduced around that level, it is uh, less straightforward than the introductory spells, so it's a bit less obvious than, let's say, uh, Ethereal Knives however it has a radius, it has an area of effect even though it's not as big as some spells like flame blast or lightning tendrils it has still a good radius and they said that the radius will increase with the gem level so you do not necessarily need to focus fully on AoE although if it were, if it were me I'll definitely go and go full, full AoE, absolutely full AoE covering the whole screen with blades how does this skill works? There's a video and you can see the blades go around you. They spin really fluidly. I really, really enjoy the graphic of the skill. And basically works like a sonar, like a radar. When you have uh, the line 
that goes and deal and do rounds and rounds around you and every time the line hits the monster the monster gets damaged and every monster gets hit by this so there is no dead zone like shock nova used to have so it's really really good it's also really good because you can just move around for the most part while hitting and if you get enough cast speed you can stack a lot of those i I think the max is 50 at the moment. It's also possibly really, 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 really good for custom crit if you're going like cyclone custom crit because you're going to stack them really, really fast. So this is definitely I this is definitely a good skill. I didn't really care about this when the talisman update came out. However, now that I've seen this video, I'm really, really hyped for it. I might even think of using it, I don't know, I'll decide that later, because chaos spells are just tempting me so much. But this, going around you, and maybe you can put the blasphemy, the new blasphemy support to use, having like Warlord's Mark or Temp Chains or Enfeeble around you just to protect and deal more damage, it's going to be really, really good. So here we go. Last thing this week has been the release of the new supporter packs for the Ascendancy update, I guess. The update was uh, revealed a lot sooner than usual because there are uh, the supporter packs themed around the Ascendancy. So as you can see here we got all the pets and the portals. However, as you can see from the packs, the first pack only as the first tier, only as a, a basic pet, uh, as a MTXs, actual in-game MTXs. The second pack also only as a pet, and the third and last packs also includes a uh, portal effect. However, many players weren't really satisfied with the lack of actual in-game MTXs, especially for the lower packs. So Chris Wilson came out really quickly, and he said that while he actually is pleased with the new effects and he himself priced the packs. He is ready to admit he was wrong, or at least he's ready to meet uh, the community expectation. So GGG said they are going to add portal effects to the lowest tier packs and also they will be creating new weapon effects to go in all of the pack tiers. So even if you bought it already, you will receive this. So these packs just got a hell of a lot more interesting and it's really really incredible the way GGG always comes uh, and tries to meet the community expectation to the best of their possibilities. Also a thing that GGG said, uh, this was on Reddit I think, is that the supporter packs actually founded most of the game so far coming up to this update so just these packs are uh, really really helped ggg go on with the game and to be fair i'm gonna be honest here just a quick tip uh the basic pet i it looks the best to me it really looks the best it's just the most fitting for the theme and the the overall art of the game of course for the new update i guess the bigger pets are just too big and i guess using pets in party is really really hard as it's already really crazy with all the spells effects all the monsters all the players so using pets in parties uh, isn't really uh, that much that common i think and that's probably why uh, players don't really appreciate too much pets of course uh, everyone likes their pet but actually using it is a different thing so there we go I think that was all for this week, if you enjoyed the video leave a like and a comment down below, also if you want to remain updated every week be sure to subscribe to my channel. So that was all, I've been your host Giorgio and I'll see you guys the next time.